Assalamualaikum. Hello, this is Raju from Blue Stuff. Today we will see how to create an authentication flow using Agama Lab. So let's go. First of all, we need to go in our Agama Lab. So here I'm opening an incognito mode. So browsing. You must have to login in Agama Lab with your GitHub account. After completing your GitHub profile verification, you will see this dashboard. So here you uh, select your repository. I have selected repository Agama Lab project which I have created before. So let's create. So here you will see the Agama project. You may take a new project. I have also all I'm already created a project named uh, user path auth. So I'm opening this project. So you will see here three main folder code, library and web. In code you will keep your Agama flow in library you can keep your uh, necessary libraries and in OF you can keep your design template HTML CSS like that so we are going to code so first of all you should take to uh, Agama flow so I'm already you are seeing that there have already two flows so if you would like to take a new one just click right button on the new the new agama flow okay as i'm already created to flow so i don't create new day again so just opening this agama flow okay you see this is already completed if you see the code this is the agama language code actually so low code or no code just doing simply that we have completed an user authentication it's so easy let's uh, discuss the every step so every agam flow is start with an start block there is a start block you can see a qualified name okay then there is a call block in this call block i just call a um, class here is a class name the method name and i assign to in alt results the title of this call block i save it after that i create an, another call block whose name is uh, <coughs> cd util so here is a class name here is method name and this argument and assign result to cd util okay after that i have taken variable so how you can take variable just create on plus sign and take assigned so it will take an assignment variable here my variable is alt results it's an empty object okay so after that I have another block which name is repeat block okay so what's the functionality of this repeat block in this repeat block you can uh, give a user that how times he can try for his re-authentication so here I'm using max2 he can retry maximum two times for authentication after that i have login form rrf block so this rr block will call our template but actually your html pages will be uh, binded here so we are use uid template okay we'll discuss about uid template in later okay so we have inject in variable auth results and assign this value in credential so it's our login form 
so when user insert the login form uh, user give the data in login form that we are using a log so we will see that is user giving a right data or is our browser can render user data in the backend that's why we should need to see the log file so here i choose a log is level is info so i'm just saying the creates that username then we will validate that user input username and his pass password so we should validate his credential how we can do that okay so for that uh, in before we <coughs> take variable uh, it's variable mc detail and in which method is authenticate method now everything all are known to you because you are already known about the uh, those backend coded so here argument is uh, create username and create password so we assign this result in auth dot success okay so it's name validation block okay fine and then we have another assignment block which name is uid actually uh, in uid variable we assign the user name okay fine then we have a hoin block actually this is interesting thing that uh, if the authentication result is success then we can user can authenticate it and he can browse his relay 30 so from authorization server authorization server declared that user is already user is authenticated so we will make a finish block so for this finish block we should need to condition meet so if you click here there is a condition meet next block so if condition meet then our if, mm, flow will be finished and it will return username simply so in the meantime when uh, to uh, repeat access two times then we should finish the block there is also finished block when a user max try will be two times then he will be finished block I mean authentication failed so that is this is the uh, code flow for user authentication using Agama actually it's really really awesome that you don't need to do any code it just low code or no code so if we if you'd like to see the code behind this Agama code you just click on generate code okay you will see this our coded here it's really so low coded okay so with this within this flow uh, after completing this flow uh, you should need to save it okay then you have to use a template so for this template I am here using a blue free maker template here you can create your own template or you can use our uh, default template for this reason I am using username and password form from here I have already added this so this is username and password from so we binded this uid.fdlh before in our agama code flow so that's it uh, that's the work that you have to done for uh, create an authentication flow using agama lab so after that you have to release this so right click on the code and create and release project i have already released this I'm also again I'm um, doing that you are seeing that your current version of the project so my current version of the project 1.0.18 so you just enter your project version on name then just release it it takes some time to release it so now it's released so you are seeing use agama releases list so from here I just click here and you will 
see in your asset on github you just need to to use here so after completing this agama flow and you have already released and you have that gamma file so what's next you have to do so now you have to do integrate with your favorite authorization server like Jensen. So with Jensen, you have to uh, integrate or make bridge use this agam file. So for this, re for this, we have to download that. So let's go to our authorization Jensen authorization server. So here you are seeing that I'm mean already in Jens three. Okay, fine. So in my folder that you have seen that I have already downloaded user auth dot gamma file so I have this file so now we are going to make bridge with this gamma file and with our gen server so we are coming in using gen story so first of all we need to go in auth server uh, hold on tab then you will see the agama so in agama we should upload the project so let's upload the project so choose the right directory where you downloaded the gamma file in my case i have in root directory so there is a gamma file so i've already uploaded that so i don't need to upload it now i have one thing to mention you that whenever you try to make breeze with jensen and agama so that time you must need to do enable your agama configuration and agama script so to enable agama configuration you should need to come in all server and then go to properties you will see the gamma configuration here is a gamma configuration press enter my see is a little bit slow so if you press enter it's enable okay nothing you have to do just save it Okay. After that, you have to enable Agama script. Okay. Simply type Agama. Okay. Press enter. Okay. So I have already enabled my Agama script. So these two things you have to done <coughs> for making a breeze with gamma file and Jensen so we have created an authentication flow then we release a gamma file and we configure our auth server and configure a gamma script now we will test our authentication flow so to test authentication flow we will use genstent so i have already genstent installed and it's running so in genstent you have to just select acr value in agama and you have to press additional parameter so additional parameter here will agama flow and define the flow name so in my case my flow name is mmrajo.np.test.me p so everything is fine i have already run and now we will test the flow let's open an browser i'm going to a private window so in the stage hit browser on local host port 9090 take care to start 
okay so is it for me coming so here I will give you the credential submit yep success thank you for watching to know more about blue and agama please visit www.blue.org